Well, the last day um, was intense. It was so crazy. Honestly, running 20 plus kilometers around Saskatoon is something I thought I'd never do or could never do, but we really, really pulled through and I, we both really amazed each other and the other teams. On the last day, we were leading the pack. And when did that happen? Because we, I think we kind of took a bit of a risk because the majority of the groups all went one way and we thought, okay, if we go this way, there was a chance that we could totally lose out and end up last, but it depended on the timing of the buses. So we caught a bus and remember ended up going up Broadway and then cutting across a different way, which ended up, the teams didn't know we were going to be there and then we were be, we ended up there ahead of them and they got there and were like, where the heck did you guys come from, you know? Yeah. so because I think everyone yeah. knew. It's not like we were the dead last team, but we were never, like, the team global team that was in first all the time and so we were just kind of the middle of the pack team and it was then that was the Jewish pavilion and we sh and everyone got there because they thought they had totally lost us and we show up there and then we ended up falling a little bit behind yeah. I think because we couldn't run very fast <laughs> by then. Yeah. One wrong turn, got off, uh, made one made one wrong guess as to what pavilion we were supposed to stop at next, got on the wrong bus and after that everything just sort of unraveled for us unfortunately. <laughs> well when we were with all the other teams, yeah it was mad dash I would say, like everybody was just... Yeah. Everyone was together in one spot, like six teams all together seven, in one seven spot, teams. seven teams last yeah. day. And, and it was just crazy. Man. Stressful. It was and like yeah. incredibly stressful. It was yeah. like everybody's pushing and trying to get like um, at the Romanian pavilion. Like everybody runs into the place, and I don't know. I'm I'm just not that fast, and I got like thrown to the back. So that got our team um, last to do the challenge at the Romanian yeah. pavilion. Same thing at the Brazilian pavilion. We just got shoved to the back of the line, and, just, and then <laughs> then the little incident coming from the Romanian going back to the Egyptian pavilion when all the teams jumped off the bus and we kind of looked at each other and it's like we're not running it. If it's not you guys, who's going to win? Who's your biggest threat? Global. Global. It's my prediction. Global's going to take it, that's the prediction? Who knows? I want to say them, but probably Global. I thought if it came down to a foot race, we were pretty much out of commission because I, the one guy, uh, Paul particularly, um, I did play football with him and the, he is a phenomenal athlete and, and, and runs a lot and his partner, um, she was on the track, the U.S. track team, so I mean looking at that I didn't want it to be come down to a foot race so in the end we were neck and neck and we actually just chose instead of running side by side we elected to go a different route in hope that they just would expect us not to run as hard and it, wor it worked out because I think if we would have been neck and neck they would have probably cleaned us. Uh, so yeah, once we uh, started running ahead and had to merge onto the same street as Global potentially would have been on, we realized they weren't there and we knew they weren't ahead of us and we just thought, what just happened? So we ran all the way to Prairie Line, we were just pumped and when we got there we realized we're in the lead here, we're going to win this thing. They've also won a thousand dollars for Magic 98.3's charity. We'd like to thank them all for running a great race. Thanks for supporting these teams. Well done. Thank you, Noel, for the other teams, especially Team Shaw. They were wonderful, very nice natured team and we had all kinds of teams. We had best friends, we had brother, sister, um, co-workers, teachers, different age groups. So we really felt that we had a, a good variety of teams. So in the end, yes, the, uh, they were engaged to be married and they are married now and um, they were just good, good sports through, all the way through. And um, so they presented Magic 98.3 with uh, their check for $1,000 for their charity of choice after the festival.
Folk Fest 2007 is coming your way August 16th to 18th with the sights, sounds, and tastes from countries all over the world. Celebrate the rich ethnic diversity right here in Saskatoon. Folk Fest. Nectar of the Gods. Some blue stuff. Blue stuff? Grenadine and Sprite. Alright. I gotta find out what these are. For me, I just like being involved with Folk Fest. Like I said, I mean, it's marked on my calendar for this year. I know what days I'm going to be back there again and be involved with the race any way I can and, you know, cheer on the competitors because I knew how much fun it was. It, it's uh, definitely something that I'll never forget. Um, I'm glad that I got to do it with Andy, with us living together now. I think it's definitely strengthened our relationship. We've always had a pretty good relationship, but it's, it's definitely strengthened. And he gave me a little card at the end saying how proud he was of me. Well, I mean, we got to bud the lines, and everybody knew we were from the race who would come up to you and talk to you. We had a fan club. Yeah, we had quite a few people who were cheering for us. And, and some people would be like, hey, we're cheering for you guys, we're cheering for you guys. We had it was fun. Yeah, I yeah. remember the two teenage girls on the bus once. They were they kind of were glancing back and giggling, and then it's like, we're cheering for you guys. Yeah. It's kind of cute. I don't know, two girls were like looking at their passports and like, that's that guy. So I went down and talked to him. Of course, I had uh, girls, so <laughs> that, that was good. And then you were making eyes at me the whole time. <laughs> like, Get your head in this. <laughs> I think it was the people. The group of people were just so much fun to be with. And, you know, getting together in the evenings after the, the race was done. Um, the people were the best part. That, that's my part too. I think the, um, oh um, what were those drinks at the Jamaica oh, Pavilion after? Jamaican me crazy. <laughs> Jamaican me crazy <laughs> after a long day when everyone sat down together and just went, oh my goodness, we are exhausted and we had a few Jamaican me crazies and got to enjoy the pavilions a bit, but. <laughs> Definitely the evenings afterwards and that was the really neat thing. We'd be competitive against these other teams the whole, for the whole race and then afterwards we'd all have drinks together and, and it was just really kind of a, a fun group. It's never going to be the same again, like that was the funnest time I've ever had at Folk Fest. Especially like after you were done your leg that day, like sticking around at the pavilions and drinking with all the other teams mm -hmm. and just, we got such special treatment from everybody, it was just so great. As not saying winning wasn't the be one of my best memories, because it really was, but uh, you know what, just sitting down after each night and hanging out with the teams, I was and get to, getting to know everyone and, and their backgrounds. It was actually a lot of fun, and um, as competitive as everyone was is, um, you know, you sat down, you had a drink, and got to know them. Everyone's a person, and everyone is there for the similar reasons, so that was probably the best memory. Our, the team we're trying to beat just got off the, the Irish Pavilion and the bus driver took off so that they couldn't get back on the bus. <laughs> so do we all love this bus driver right now? For any team out there, go into it with an open mind and don't think you know everything until you're actually through the entire race. That was our biggest downfall. We figured we knew exactly what we were doing and didn't think things through enough and it, ended, it led to our demise. Um, have fun, you know, have yeah. a lot of fun. Be prepared, you know, for it to be a competition, but have a lot of fun. Interact with the people in the pavilions, you know, get them to help you. Study. Study all the pavilions, like read up as much as you can. Um, I remember hearing that um, some of the clues involved, like last year involved, knowing the ambassadors or someone that was running the pavilion. As soon as he 